uh, I'm in Dubai now. I came over here to give a, a presentation, so I had uh, a nice 15 hours uh, on a on a United plane uh, to, to think about this. And I think the uh, you know we, you and I had a conversation a week ago, and that that caused me to think a lot about you know I think in the term you just used was sort of the semantic corpus here that the LLMs that are trained by scraping up everything that humanity has ever written include a very large number of descriptions of people doing things. Uh, and something that I, I found you know, kind of fascinating after pondering on the plane for a while was um, we probably have one of the very few robots that could go through old Shakespeare plays and actually implement plausibly stage direction. Um, not because you know, we've actually written some sort of you know, stage direction to robot motion decoder, but just because uh, you know, the way that you would go about describing a task that you want Digit to do is virtually identical in, in many cases, not all cases, but many cases, uh, to the way that you would describe a person doing the same thing. Um, and what I found fascinating about your uh, Digit cleaning up the room thing is, you know, how many descriptions are there probably in kids' books and, you know, all kinds of things where people are doing actions with trash, you know, probably, you know, hundreds of thousands that I'm just not aware of just because people write so much. You know, if you scrape through Wikipedia, uh, I'm sure there's, you know, very long descriptions of like the proper way to sort your, you know, plastic number one from your plastic number two kind of stuff. So it's really interesting that the, um, the, the command set is actually so analogous, uh, simply based on us, you know, being very fascinated with ourselves and writing, you know, you know, billions of pages of text around the human experience and that actually mapping onto the robot. Uh, which I imagine actually is, uh, I, was, I was pondering this, like if you were to try to say control a little vacuuming robot, you know, two wheeled personal vacuuming robot, would the semantics map onto it? Probably around the cleaning function, but presumably less so around the experience of that. You know, if you think about the, the lived experience of the robot, doesn't necessarily map onto the same experience that a person has in the way that it does with the humanoid form factor. Yeah, that's definitely the case. We benefit from being so well aligned and, and other robots have, uh, been able to make use of this in in uh, their respective capacities. But to your point, if you're a robot vacuum cleaner, you know, the actions and affordances available to you are are limited, right? You can move around in the environment, you can vacuum things in the environment, you kind of like bump against stuff maybe. Um, but like, you can't really rearrange furniture to try and do a better job vacuuming. It's not within your capability. So an entire corpus of like, what order should I, you know, clean up my room in order to, you know, get the stuff off the floor and then vacuum or something like that, you know, that entire body of knowledge is, is really not relevant, right. To, uh, to a robot that doesn't have affordances that can make use of that. And so with digit it's particularly exciting because we have this, this roadmap of, well, we can just keep expanding. And as, as the capabilities of digit, you know, increase and improve, we'll be able to tap into more and more of that available knowledge and more and more of the things that you can do. Like digit can, ostensibly interact with most human objects, you know, uh, from at a physical level. And it's just a matter of dialing it in, uh, and, and building out the, the physical intelligence and hardware of digit over time, which is exactly what we're doing. So it's very well aligned with what we want to do. And we get to benefit from the entire world of LLMs advancing right there. What we're seeing right now is this sort of like nascent explosion of, of a relevant, you know, uh, uh, work where you know, there's all of a sudden the ability to to control robots fairly directly. And I say, you know, it's like relatively recent over the past, you know, year, couple of years, there's people have been building upon stuff for a while, but it's really kind of become uh, effective relatively recently and, and very immediately, obviously uh, able to do tasks. Uh, but there are, are, are shortfalls right now. Right now, there's a, a lot of challenges with LLMs that produce plausible but incorrect responses. Um, there are issues with LLMs getting stuck in loops where they just kept, keep telling you just pick up the same object and move it around in a circle. Um, but the nice part is there's a lot of very smart people working on that all over the world. And as they get better at it or produce better techniques for it, uh, we have a platform that will immediately gain from those uh, those advances, right? Uh, Digit will continue to be able to make use of uh, any of these advances anywhere in the LLM space. And that's particularly exciting because those are hard challenges, right? Uh, and it's great to have a very large community of very interested people uh, working against them and to be able to sort of say, well, we've got a platform that whenever you figure that out, like we can make use of it and, and carry it forward.